All right, big daddies, we are, what, 4 March 2024, and I went and did it. I uh, put into practice what I was doing last week, trying to gauge the sentiment of what Bitcoin would be doing for the morning during the uh, normal stock trading times. Even though Bitcoin you can buy and sell anytime on Coinbase, uh, Kraken, Gemini, whatever crypto platform you uh, prefer. So this morning I wake up at 9.30 and I just was a couple of minutes behind, but it already started to go up. Look at this right here, right almost at the opening bell. And I kind of missed a few per points on uh, the one I was tracking. And what was that? Uh, if you watch these videos, you can uh, subscribe now, become a member. And I put out, I'm going to start putting out the videos just for the members first before they go public. And because uh, I'm, I'm not on the something, but it's kind of fun to play with this. It's entertainment purposes only, right? Come on. If you're listening to some idiot on YouTube about investing, you're going to be in trouble. So it's for fun. This is what I'm doing. And it's all kind of just entertainment. So what am I doing? Like I said, I figured Sunday night, we had a little jump Sunday. It went up, uh, say what, 60, I can't remember, 65, something like that. And then I was thinking, all right. Usually during the trading times, you get the volume spikes and the price runs up. Unless it's going to tank. You don't know, right? You don't know if it's going to go up, if it's going to go down, if it's going to go sideways, or it's going to do nothing at all. That's what all these clowns say. You don't know. And you don't know. So they, but they always cover that in every price prediction. So it's like they're not really saying anything. They're just filling air. Uh, for me, it's just a gut. And what I've been watching is the one I've been playing with. Instead of buying Bitcoin outright. I've been doing this trading through an IRA for uh, just mainly tax reasons, and it's easier. There's some extra cash floating around. And uh, one I've been playing with is FBTC. And with FBTC, it was about 5780 when I got into it. And I put a couple bucks in, and it shot up to about, uh, let's see, 59. I don't know if it went up to 59 didn't quite break 60 it didn't quite break 60 but anyway here we are it, it's been going up it's been going down and uh in after hours it's at 45 cents up so almost two bucks since i bought it this morning so that's a good thing you never know with after hours if it's going to tank and you're kind of left hole in the bag the plan was to dump it about 1600 hours and get out just so i'm not holding the bag over 90 case bitcoin crashes or something but so far so good it's up 45 cents yeah the thing keeps moving i think with my account i could probably buy it in if i wanted to after hours but i don't not quite sure uh but that's what i did i bought an fbtc uh probably up about maybe 300 bucks on it uh the goal is i always have a mental image how much i want to make flipping this thing uh just maybe say hey if i'm making this on this if i make this much that covers this bill you know, blah, 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 or just keep snowballing. And you take the winnings, the profits you make, and you keep playing with those, and you take your core investment out of the game, and then you're just playing with the house win money, the money you won from the house, right? And then it's not as painful. But uh, yeah, easier said than done, right? So uh, right now, I just want to get to a certain point. I left it in for overnight, hoping it's going to keep going up on FBTC. That is the Fidelity Wise Origin Bitcoin ETF. Uh, there's other ones, uh, Vanguard and BlackRock all have these ETFs. There's, a, there's like 20 out there. You just got to pick your poison, pick the one you want to buy. Uh, so that one's looking pretty good. So yeah, I put a couple bucks in that. Like I said, it was up immediately up like 275 bucks within like half an hour because it was going up and I think it got up to maybe 300 bucks. Kind of settled back down during the day and now after hours it's back up. So kind of hopefully it holds there. For the uh, Tuesday morning cycle and see what happens then because uh, my goal is um, in general I do hold for the long term this time with this crap I'm just flipping it man I'm just flipping it trying to just snowball little little profits here and there add up add up make 500 bucks make a thousand here boom boom get out wait a few days feel the market out is the time to jump back in boom and then maybe jump back in but it's risky so I mean you got these damn cycles why not try to why not try to freaking profit off these i don't know bank in you can always lose everything so you got to watch that it could always go down to 50 and boom you're left holding the bag and it's like oh crap i just lost a thousand bucks or something right so you got to behave behave be careful be disciplined it's not for the weak of heart 
All right, what are we at? So we're at 68. Almost 68,000 after hours, about 1755 Eastern time. Is that about right? Yeah, about 1800 Eastern, 1800 hours Eastern time. We're probably going to break 68. Who knows what's going to happen overnight? Tomorrow morning is going to be interesting. I want to see this FBTC go up. And that's where my trade is right now. Like I said, I bought in at about 57.70. And then after hours, we were probably 59.70. So two bucks up, not too bad. Um, again, I should have got up earlier and got in before hindsight is 2020 before this spike, which is nine. Yeah, look at that right at 930, guys. Look at that 925. If I would have got up earlier at 915 and done a pre market purchase, boom, I'd probably be up, probably up to my target of maybe, I don't know, 700 bucks up. I don't know. That's just my guess right now. I have to run the numbers. But yeah. Better than nothing. So that's what I did today. That was my fun. It get a little stressful because you're always afraid it's going to tank and you go, oh, crap. I just lost uh, some of my money in my IRA. <laughs> so you got to watch that and be careful. Just be disciplined. Do not listen to anybody on YouTube. This is what I'm doing for fun. It's just entertainment. Uh, one other fund I did buy was EQT. This is totally not even a crypto. This is an energy, uh, natural gas production, I think out of Pittsburgh area, Pennsylvania. So I bought this just to see if it would spike up. Her little birdie told me it might spike up. And this, I'm only up 300 bucks for the day. So not terrible, not great. I want to at least break a thousand and uh, keep, keep snowballing it. But this might not be the stock to do that. This one may be the one where you can just keep playing it like a little snowball. Um, but it may bite you. It can always bite you. And you can always see left. Like I said, I hate repeating myself. You can always see left holding that bag. All right. So, hey, guys, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you can join this channel too. And I'm going to be doing more real world stuff like this because I've never done this high risk stuff before. Well, I actually, I have. Um, but uh, mostly I do buy and hold for like the long term. Time in the market is often better than trying to time the market. But this is kind of fun. It's like, oh, I made a thousand here, made a thousand there. And over a month, oh, geez, I'm up 5,000 bucks. But you're not always going to be up. You could lose 4,000 bucks. And then your net is a thousand. So happened last week. I was in FBTC. I was up. Uh, probably a couple K, but then I bought this other stupid uh, a blockchain ETF thinking it was tied. I misread it completely. It's, it's more tied to miners and stuff like that, and it went down. So my it offset my gains almost on the FPTC, but I still came out a little bit ahead on FPTC. So that's a lesson learned. You're going to have a winner and you're going to have a loser. So maybe just focus on one at a time because that kind of irked me that I did that and I didn't think it through, and I ended up instead of making. Uh, double, I made half of what I wanted to. So yeah, uh, what are you gonna do? That's how you learn, right? You just have to be disciplined, patient, and uh, yeah, it's hard to time it. It is really hard to time it. You could always lose a lot too, so you gotta be careful. Um, or just go follow my other video I made on Nancy Pelosi's uh, congressional stock picks. And uh, yeah, you might you might be all right for life on that. I did sell early on one of those. I did know she bought Nvidia last year. I bought Nvidia last year and it tanked to twenty percent down. And then uh, I sold when I broke even, made a couple K, and then the thing shoots to the moon after I sell it. It's like, oh, no. So these uh, po political criminals, uh, like these congressional people, know what they're doing. They have inside information. And they, she might have had call options, too. So she, she probably really made out with the strike price and the call options as well. You just don't. You do know, actually. You do know how they're buying it. They can buy the stock outright, or they can buy stock options with a strike price. Uh, I do not ever do that. I don't know how to play that game. That's a bit over my head and too much risk for me. I just want to buy low, sell high, and get the hell out, right? Um, yeah, but anyway, things are at all-time high everywhere. It's kind of scary. So tread lightly. Nothing wrong with being conservative right now. If you want to put your money in a money market making 5%, there is nothing wrong with that right now. It was better safe than sorry, because if this thing goes, this, this stock market goes like a house of cards or Jenga, it's going to go. And uh, yeah, it might happen on a Friday night, and then you won't be able to get your stuff out. Monday, you'll be locked out or something stupid. And if, I don't know, it could get really bad, especially with bank stuff. You just don't know. March is going to be the bank month. There's lot of, lots of stuff happening with regional banks. So we'll see how that goes. All right, that's all I wanted to show you. FBTC for the win. Uh, so far, again, it's not life-changing money, but it's fun just to play with it and add a few bucks to the account, especially in an IRA. I won't be able to touch it, but um, it's there. And uh, I won't be able to touch it until um, I take it as income as a... RMD minimum required distribution whenever you, if you live that long to 72 most likely I won't 
but uh, it's fine. At least it'll snowball for the for the uh, for the um, beneficiaries on the account. So yeah, good for them, right? They should be thanking me right now. <laughs> All right, that's it. FPTC. Check out the other ones as well. Vanguard has a Bitcoin ETF, and um, BlackRock has one too. Grayscale has one. You just gotta Google whatever one you're happy with. And uh, do your own research. Invest wisely. Do not invest more than you are willing to lose. I don't want to hear anybody crying in their pillow or in their safe space because it's on you, man. Do not ever listen to anybody on YouTube for financial advice. This is just for fun. And you guys go, oh, hey, he might be onto something. It's kind of interesting to see that. And again, I pick up some stuff from other people as well. And again, boom, Pan W, I'm watching. This is what Pelosi bought last month. It is related to NVIDIA. And I think they're working with NVIDIA as their cybersecurity company so it'd be interesting to watch this thing she bought it with options uh expiring next year with a strike price of 200 so she is already up look at that what's it what's it at now she's already up 100 bucks because she has an option to buy i think if i'm reading that right a call option with a strike price and i think she has a year up to the next january to buy it at that 200 so it's going to be up that if she buys it 200 my guess is take us even right now she's already up so these people know what they're doing. They got the inside information. They know what's going on with this AI crap and uh, any industry. They got that information. So they're using it to their benefit. She's like a $500 million billionaire or whatever. And on her $150,000 a year congressional salary, how does that happen? How does that happen is all I have to ask you. All right, I'm out. Go forth to great things. What do you guys think about this, uh, this way of doing crypto? I know crypto and this is, I just know the swings and it's, Again, it's not life-changing money, but it's a couple bucks here and there. And again, I'll probably be down 10,000 bucks tomorrow. You never know, right? All right, that's how it goes. Go forward to great things. Thanks.